Lauren from the Belly Dance Superstars. We are in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and just finished the Club Belly Dance show, and I'm with two of beautiful ladies. <laughs> and you are... Lacey. And Maddie. Of Don Dasha. <laughs> Belly Dance. Yes. And Lacey was the host for tonight's show. She did an awesome job, put together an amazing first act for us. Belly Dance means to me. I have to just share an experience that I had, because this is the first thing that popped in my head. My first belly dance class, my best friend signed me up for, and I started dancing, and she looked at my hips, and she's like, God, oh, I wish I had those hips. <laughs> and I was like, I know I'm in the right place. So it is a way for me to feel comfortable um, about my body, about me as a woman, and expressing myself in that way. And Belly Dance in Chattanooga is actually finally starting to hit the mainstream, I think. Um, it was quite a while ago where it started getting kind of popular, about, I would say, nine years ago when Zanzibar Studios started. Andrew Perkins and Kat Johnson started the studio where Maddie and I teach now. Um, and also the girls from the area. I was actually in a huge troupe with them, which was Dundasha, the first Dundasha, and I joined after them. So. Um, it's finally getting the respect that I think we all would like it to get. Um, as an art form, it's, uh, you know, now we're getting articles in the paper when we have shows, and people are looking at it more as an art form instead of, oh, we're just getting together and uh, we're gonna shake our hips for a minute, you know, and now it's being taken seriously as a discipline as well, and as far as study goes for, for dance, too, so. Just moving on up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The band you heard tonight was called Strung Like a Horse, and they are a local, they call themselves uh, Garage Grass, because it's bluegrass, but it's a little more rock and roll than that. I've been dancing with local bands here for quite some time, about four or five years now. Um, I, that's mainly the productions that I do are live music and local bands, um, so I really try to promote them and they promote me, and we just really collaborate well together. It's just fun, they're, they're awesome. I'm Stacey Nolan, I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm a founding member of Mirabai Belly Dance. Hi, I'm Alexandria, and I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'm a founding member of the Rockettes. Cool. <laughs> this means fun and friendship and enjoying dance and music. think is has become very much of a close-knit community. Um, most of us that uh, that do belly dance, whether it's um, cabaret style or tribal or tribal fusion or even ATS, we all know each other and we all have very similar roots. Um, so I think it's a very, the scene here it has become very close-knit. We all tend to do the same kinds of events. We all usually um, you know, meet up with each other at different festivals or, or what, what, what have you. So um, it's become very, um, it's definitely become very much a community and it, we're thin where we all kind of help each other and we all are helping each other, you know, build clientele and build students and build gigs and things like that. And I think we all have a very similar purpose and what we want to see in, um, in the scene, which is, um, which is really what Lacey had mentioned earlier. Um, a, a validity to what we do and a um, sort of a respect and I think we all have that common goal in mind when we go out into the public and perform that we really want to um, elevate the, the dance with them through the public eye. So. Cool, beautiful.